All right, so a lot of you guys uh, wanted a follow-up video um, on this Kohler Command Pro. I will be doing cut quality here, and I will be just comparing the two engines just to build quality, just to start. First, you can see that on this Kohler Command Pro, it's all fucking metal. Excuse my language. On uh, the Toro Time Master, I mean, it's all pretty much plastic so you get what you pay for you know it, there's there is a huge difference in quality here you do have a cold air intake here on the bottom of this uh, air filter box you don't have that on the other one right there's a two-stage filter you have a one-stage filter you have an oil filter you don't have an oil filter the uh, the gas tank itself much bigger and you don't have that blue foam thing you have a blue foam thing and I don't know what that's for uh, you know a lot of people don't have nice things to say about it myself included uh, I will say though that on the Toro Time Master what you should be aware of is that head gasket is gonna blow if you are the type of consumer that you want to have something that's gonna last a long time without having to do major repairs I consider a blown head gasket a major repair because you're basically taking the whole thing apart the Briggs & Stratton engine that's with the Toro branding on it we get away from that immediately and come over to the Command Pro. Now I'm gonna be mulching the grass just to show uh, that this thing doesn't bog down. So I will have the drone in the sky watching and I will also uh, have this camera and, and I'll show you the, the cut quality as well. What you're seeing here in this first clip is I've let this grass grow for about two weeks. It's tall fescue and it's wet and it's 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 not completely wet because it's not raining, but it's damp. Um, I put the deck to setting C on the Toro Time Master, which is about three and a quarter inch, um, and I'm mulching it. And it's really having no trouble whatsoever uh, mulching this damp grass uh, and it's overgrown wet grass, so that's nice. Um, but I typically probably wouldn't do this. I, if, if I had let my lawn overgrow like that, I'd probably put it at the highest setting with side discharge. Um, and then I would go over it and mulch all the clippings after that on the highest setting. Um, again, this is just a torture test uh, for you guys just so you can see what the uh, engine is capable of. But it, I typically would not do this. So in this clip, you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, on the left, I did the the mulching, and on the right side now, I'm doing side discharge. And you can see that the, the grass is being blown right out. Obviously, the cut quality is going to be a little bit better with side discharge. Um, but again, this is just a video showcasing the engine itself. And you can see that there's no issues um, in power. Uh, it's just... It's handling it like a champ. Again, this is overgrown wet grass. So this is another area of grass where I'm doing side discharge, and this one's been neglected for a long time. This is about three, four weeks uh, it's very, very, very overgrown, um, but you can see the engine is taking it like a champ. So we'll do this clip, then uh, we'll do one with sound. So now uh, you can see it's being mulched. And uh, again, 
uh, it's not bogging down, handling it like a champ. It's overgrown grass, and it's a torture test. Uh, it's not something I would typically do, but I'm just doing it to show showcase the engine, to, to show you what it is capable of. Um, typically, in this situation, I, again, I would raise the deck up and put side discharge and cut it like that first before mulching. Final thoughts here, um, if you're looking for a lawnmower that's going to get the job done, uh, the Time Master is a very attractive option because it's still a push mower, it's got a wider deck, but unfortunately the stock engine on this, whether you had the, the older model, which I don't even know the number for the CC of the engine, but I know I had the, the uh, 10 horsepower 223cc Briggs & Stratton, it's underpowered, it doesn't do the job. Uh, I know that it's intended for homeowners, but homeowner is not synonymous with junk. So, you know, you still need a machine that's going to be able to cut your grass and give you the quality that you're looking for. I think that if you upgrade your engine to the Kohler Command Pro CV224, you'll be very satisfied with the results that you've been able to achieve. Um, you know, now that I've had this engine, I've been running this engine since I made the video. This is going on maybe like a month, month and a half now. Um, you know, in all conditions, it overperforms. When I was on my other engine before this, the Briggs and Stratton, I would have problems. It would surge. I know a lot of people had problems with blowing the head gasket. It's just something that you're spending a thousand dollars on this machine. You expect for it to perform, and unfortunately, it was underpowered. So it's definitely necessary to do this mod. Um, if you need directions or if you need um, help. Uh, just leave me a comment and I will definitely help you any which way that I can. But I hope that the last video for installation helped you. And I hope that if you were on the fence about doing this, that this video showing you the cut quality and the power of the, the engine um, will be of assistance to you. Um, thank you so much for watching and I wish you guys well.